Malphite is an easy matchup for Trindamir. I will say that again. Malphite is an easy matchup for Trindamir. And if you pick Malphite into Trindamir, you're counter picking yourself. I know that 95% of the Trindamir population doesn't agree with me, but I will show you with the examples why. And then you might ask, why are you batting Malphite for six months if you think that Malphite is an easy matchup for Trindamir? Well, because it's boring. <laughs> That's it. Like it's a boring matchup, but it's not it's not a hard matchup. But I consider being a hard matchup is like you play it a hundred times and a hundred times out of a hundred times, you will be behind at the end of the laning phase 80% of the time or 85% of the time, which is true for some matchups, but not Malphite. Malphite, if you play it correctly, you're ahead in laning phase all the time in a 1v1, in a pure 1v1 situation. And then later on, you can slightly out impact him on the map. You slightly outscale in impact on the map. Laning phase, you play short trades, you play sustain, you play grasp, you beat him slowly but surely. And then you just bring out waves to his turret, go for playthings. Later on, bring him on side lane, out rotate, TTPs, go back to side lane, bring him again out rotate it's not fun it's boring but that's the way you can play the map and be faster and out impact malphite if he doesn't match you and the game if he does match you out rotate that's it that's simple problem is it's so simple that it's boring but i'm gonna show you with examples because now i'm banning fiora since i've changed my build and play style so i'm facing a lot of malphite and i probably have like 80 percent win rate against them recently so i will just show you with a few examples this is my first game into malphite after six months of betting it and more are coming. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, thank you for being here. Watch out. Hey guys, we are gaming and it's the first time I'm facing Malphite in, I don't know, like maybe six months. Uh, I actually stopped playing Mal um I started banning Malphite again because at some point I remember playing 21 games and 9 of those 21 games were Malphite matchups, which is pretty boring. But I believe that with this setup, with Hydra first and Grasp, it's actually a fine, actually winning matchup for Trinomir. Um I will show you why, I will show you how, and you're going to see that there is no reason to be concerned or scared about Malphite. And Malphite should be scared about you. Uh, so the idea is to poke him a lot to out sustain and to make sure that he doesn't get his shield. I try to cancel his well passive as much as possible. So let's see what we have here. Not serious jinx uh, into Zeri Lulu. Um, well, both ADCs are really scaling, but of course, well, Zeri has her Lulu and my Jinx has a Nautilus, which is more about engage than peeling. Uh, so it's kind of dependent on Nautilus succeeding at his engages. Uh, the issue is that we have a Graves who doesn't follow the best uh, engages. I mean, I mean, he does kind of, but then all the CC we have comes from Nautilus. You know, it's not like we have extra layers of CC plus damage. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think though Graves should be fine uh, into Viego in the one v one matchup. Um, he should be to, should be able to kite him, stack a lot of armor, and just be fine overall. Uh, mid, it's Ari into Karma. I don't expect much happening mid lane. They're just gonna cancel out waves and maybe Ari is gonna have more uh, ROM potential from level 6 to 11 or something, but then probably have better scaling from Karma overall. I mean, it's good that we have a Karma to help us engage, give us movement speed boost or PL for Jinx or whatever is needed. Maybe like Mantra Shield on the on the Malphite engage. I mean, it's fine. As you wish. Minions have spawned. Hmm. I will still be in solo since life a bit. Mm, 
have a decision to make. Okay. So it's either I try to be more of a pain for Viego or I play for my lane and as I said I can actually do stuff here in that Malphite lane. So I will. And I already make gain some time on, on the jungler. Yeah, that's what I mean by trying to get his passive. I failed and I also lost some XP for that. I shouldn't be too concerned about Viego because Muffet is low in HP. There we go. More edited content is coming very soon on this channel every Sunday. To make sure to not miss it, subscribe. And he cannot stop me. Told you. I am not concerned about Malphite nor Viego. Mm. Let's take this. I mean, I would prefer to have Tiamat probably, but well, this way I have healing, 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 red buff, so more healing. Yeah, I, I just have. More than infinite sustain. I mean, you can. I mean, you can actually do more than infinite. Some infinites are bigger than others. Whatever. Um, what are we doing now? Do we freeze the lane? Do we insta shove it for plates? I think I'm gonna freeze it a bit. We're pre five minutes anyway. Get some poke into mad fight with my red buff. Yeah, oh, this is really good. Okay, I will have to play it slow unless. Unless I can just deem it for level 5. Doesn't have TP, can create this wave pretty fast. I will. I don't like that no one is defending mid though. I was just thinking that maybe by crashing and getting the plate. I could look for a Tiamat base and I will insta resell my potions which is not what you want to do but okay I'll do it well I guess I won't do it I was ready to do it Okay, I just needed to be very aware about his his ult, so it doesn't surprise me. I'm not gonna grid the plate, it's gonna put me off tempo again. Uh, 
I'm probably on a ward actually. I mean, I am on a ward, but you can stop me in time. Okay. Bro, I'm foreign. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm telling you, Malfight matchup, guys. We're chilling. We are chilling. Just a bit boring when you only face Malfight. Oh, that's a smart move by him. I mean, he's missing 3 CS though. Nightmare. That's really smart. Uh, I'm still gonna be able to get a plate from that. Maybe. I, am your worst I just want the minions to hit me. Okay. An enemy has been slain. Mm. Okay, I'm actually clear. This one, proxy one, and then take my base. This way, I don't lose anything. But why do? Why do risk? Risk a shutdown for that. It's okay, I'm not gonna complain, like, I won't trade stranglers. Boom. Dematting so I can get quickly to the turrets. Maybe I didn't need to. I mean, the faster the better. I have my sums in case Vigo is here, Malfight has no ult. Frozen hearts already. Oh, you know, that's supposed to be like the. The toughest part of the matchup. Oh, believe me, it's very fine. Yes, she has frozen heart, and if I, if I was going for Kraken, I would be completely fucked by that. But I'm not. I just did info on Viego. And once I have info on Viego, look at his HP, it's like 40%. And you know the story now. Oop. I mean, he's running to Viego, he's on grabs. So we're just slowly winning that. He ulted. That was a nice try. Actually, respect that. 
actually respect that. Okay, Virgo didn't take his base. Grace doesn't need me here. I'm pinging because there is no turret, so... This is so stupid. Bro, I, I was using DMAT. I guess that's a shutdown. I, I was using Hydra, I mean, when I died. Uh, do I have something? I have Karma TP. Can TP? 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 But that was 300 gold. Okay, you can sell TP. TP, maybe. Finally. If she TP'd on the minion when he was pushing, she would kill them. Get 300, get some tempo. Give him the base. Oh, he doesn't have ult. I did my bad, I got surprised. Like I should know that I'm in kill range. And not let him kill me. The game is gonna be pretty boring from that point. Unless we just give them that randomly. We could have just played Herald. You know how it is in solo queue. He has Bramble, well as long as I don't hit him it's actually fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, Graves. I kinda wanted that just to show that you can still solo kill Malphite. Because if Graves kills him, it's not solo kill, then. So, yeah, you, you, you can still kill him. Just that you know you want to play really slowly. And I was thinking about maybe going what it's called. Um, Which entered. Oh, 
But I'm not absolutely convinced about it. First, let's get boots. Maybe Bark does make sense. I don't know. You know what? It's stray. It's very with scent. Oh, the good thing is, like, he has nothing for karma. Like, all he has is 350 extra HP. Uh, it's a bit sad that it's a storm because it doesn't help me showcase the Malphite matchup that much. But, I mean, it kind of does. Like, you saw what I was able to do. And what I'm still able to do in the matchup. You just want to play it slow, you want to play it off sustain, you want to play it around his ease. Make sure that he doesn't get his passive, because that's his only way of getting kind of sustain, you know. Because he has a shield, so it's like more HP. And the idea, like, okay, let's say we have a closer game. The idea is that he has more impact in teamfight than you. So you want to force him into being side lane. And side lane, you actually win into him, but like very slowly. It takes, it takes like two or, yeah, like two minutes or something to take his whole HP bar. But... But the thing is, like, he's forced to stay versus you, because if he doesn't stay against you, well, then you just you just threaten to end the game on side lane. Okay, well, I may still post it just because, you know, just to show you guys. Stop being scared about Malphite. Yeah, like you never had to be scared about Malphite. It's just like super boring. I do give you that. But if you play 100 Malphite matchups, Trindemir actually has slightly more impact than him. If you play it like that. And you could you could do that with lethal tempo. As long as you rush Hydra and you play off sustain. Second win revitalize. But then you don't have the knowledge. But you get the ID. Um, anyway, well, thank you guys for watching. This one, next video is going to be very soon. Until then, take care of yourselves. Good luck and have fun game in real life. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Much love.